she climbs like uh, like a complete veteran. Is a bouldering prodigy. She's an incredible climber. She is kind of a superhero. My name is Ashima Shireishi and I'm 11 years old. I do bouldering and sport climbing. I climb about like five times a week and I do it three to four hours a day. But, like, I can't really stop because it's just too fun. <laughs> I just love it. Ashima is uh, a phenom. She is extremely good. There are a lot of climbers out there in the world that are accomplishing some hard things, but pound for pound, um, she is definitely the most talented kid in the country and in the world. It's amazing watching her. I don't know how she's doing that. It's incredible the strength that little body has. I started when I was six years old. There was a pretty big playground next to the rat walk in Central Park. I saw all these climbers climbing there. Like after I tried it on the first day, I thought that I'd probably do it forever. I started my first competition when I was seven, and then after that I, I tried a bunch of other ones, and then when I was about eight, I en entered the ABS series, which is the bouldering series. I won the nationals for the last three years, and I'm pretty happy about that. My mom and my dad came from Japan for from like over 30 years ago. My dad used to be a dancer before I was born and my mom used to make these costumes for him. Usually my dad brings me, pretty much always, to Brooklyn Borders and in the city, in New York City, and I also practice at um, the Rock Club in New Rochelle. <laughs> I am Ashima's father, her babysitter, and also I am her climbing helper. I think I could give her advice from my dancing experience, but I can't teach her climbing technique. So I try to teach her how to move the body and focus. It's difficult to explain how much she loves climbing. It was her fate to be a climber. It explains everything to say that she was born to be a climber. I think the best thing to distinguish is rock climbing is an art form. Um, and it's basically getting from point A to point B using what's available. Now, to her advantage, she's able to use very, very small holds and develop sequencing or choreography that um, pertains to her size. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that she's a well-rounded climber and she knows what she's good at, she knows what she's not good at. So when, I, when I'm asking her to do something that she doesn't like, she knows that I'm just kind of like trying to give her the best advantage and being able to deal with a certain style of hold or move that she may have to encounter in the future. Oh, hard. Over spring break, we were down in uh, Waco Tanks, Texas. It's just outside of El Paso. It's a, it's a state park, and it provides some of the best climbing, bouldering, which is her discipline, um, in the world. And she was able to accomplish something that hasn't been accomplished by, I mean, some of the greatest climbers in the world, let alone an 11-year-old girl. I did a V13. Yeah! Come on! All right, relax. Well, there's a couple of people who've women who've yep. done that grade, but it's yep. still really yep. special. So the rating system starts at V0 and it goes all the way up to V16. And what determines the difficulty of each climb is the size of the hold. So in some case, you're gonna hold on to an edge that's an eighth of an inch with your fingertips. Also how far away they are from each other. And then putting that all together, it's the overhanging or the slope of the wall. How overhanging it is or how vertical it is. Oh, you're the best. Nice! You're the best kiddo. I think she's going to turn climbing on its ear. The sky is the limit if she keeps climbing. My dream is probably to climb all around the world and hopefully climbing could be in the Olympics. <laughs>
Tschüss.